Dobry den, меня зовут Travis Bailey. И это большой театр. Я на Москва, Россия сейчас. Я жил здесь пять лет. И я хочу, я русский патриот. Я хочу жить здесь в моя жизни. Right here is um, the Bolshoi Theater, the famous Bolshoi Theater. Uh, I'm in downtown Moscow. Um, Russia is a very capitalist society. Uh, it's uh, extremely capitalist and Moscow is just beautiful. Uh, the current mayor, who may be the next president after Putin, he spent literally hundreds of millions of dollars making this um, uh, an incredible European city to to rival all other European cities uh, in, in Europe. 80% um, of the economy goes through Moscow, Russia. 80% um, of the Russian economy. Um, the best way to describe Moscow is it's New York City, Washington DC, and Los Angeles all in one. The largest cities in America are found here and the largest opportunities are found here. Imagine a city where Los Angeles, New York, and Washington DC all were in one place. Um, it's a gorgeous city. Um, it's built like a fort uh, with circles, um, two different circles uh, that, um, that are the metro and then three consecutive circles around Moscow that are the highway. Um, there's, this location is beautiful. Um, this is about five mile, uh, two and a half or two hour walk from my home. I only pay 26,000 rubles a month, which is equivalent to 400 rubles um, or $400 uh, a month for a beautiful apartment um, next to all the landmarks here in, in Moscow. Um, I, uh, I have friends here that pay 30,000 rubles for a downtown location, which is conveniently located to, to all of the wonderful nightlife here. 30,000 rubles, and um, which is approximately $450, and you have a city of 13 million people from all over the world. Um, as, a, as I said again, this is the Bolshoi Theater, the famous Bolshoi Theater where there's um, operas and, and different theater performances. Um, to, my, to my right, just down the street here, Down the street here um, is, you can just barely see it, is the Duma. Uh, this is the Congress of uh, Russia. This is where all the laws are made. Um, Russia is going through a time of incredible change. Uh, Putin is, uh, president, our President Putin, he uh, has decided to uh, dissolve his cabinet and he's decided to make some major changes to the Constitution um, in, for his upcoming um, step, stepping down from power in 2024. Um, it's really incredible. It's going to be getting rid of the old Constitution, which was created by America and the British, and creating a new Constitution, which is firmly built upon family values and traditional values and uh, which is completely different from, from Western uh, society, from, from Western values of, of gays and, and um, feminism and uh, transgender rights and fluid sexuality. Uh, Russia is going to become a, a white bastion for traditional values, and I'm really excited to see that. Um, over here, um, there's remnants of the former Soviet Union. Uh, most of the Lenin statues are gone, um, but you always see Soviet symbols everywhere. Um, this is a, a statue of Karl Marx, and you can just barely see it through here. Um, I am literally one block away from Red Square. Um, and then if you turn it, the you look down here a little bit, um, the security here is wonderful. There's a gentleman, um, a police officer in yellow, who's hiding behind a stand right here. Uh, I feel safe here. 
Um, there's a metro actually that's just right over here. The metro system is, if not the best in the world, it's most definitely the most beautiful. It's like going into a museum every day. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, it was started in the 1930s and today, um, hundreds of millions of rides every day. It's absolutely incredible. You have to, you have to see it. Uh, largest escalator in the world. Uh, some of the deepest, um, some of the decent, deepest metro stations in the world also. Again, this is a, a metro right over here. Yeah, right, right over here is, uh, is a metro station. So, um, again, uh, we turn around here and there's a police stand here. And if you look down, if you look down here, <laughs> right here, that is the, that is the FSB. It's this huge complex um, and it, uh, it was the former KGB and in the complex it's, it's absolutely huge. It, it reminds me of uh, the Pentagon on a smaller scale. Uh, if you look at satellite images, um, there's clearly some courtyards and other buildings and it's just a, it's just a very fascinating building to say the least. Um, that's the, uh, the current FSB which is the, uh, which is the predecessor of the KGB. Um, right across the street from that building is um, the, uh, the toy store. It's uh, an amazing um, it's an amazing toy store. Uh, it's a huge mall. There's, there's malls here everywhere. Again, uh, Moscow is an extremely capitalist society. Um, in Moscow and Russia. It's um, closest to libertarian, in, um, and uh, like like America, um, it's a representative government. Um, and in fact, in many ways, uh, Mos Russia, according actually to scientists, America actually is is not a democracy. It's an oligarchy. So, despite what you may hear on the news in Western media and American media. Uh, Russia actually, or America actually, is an oligarch. Um, and this is not me saying this, is actually so social scientists that study what an oligarchy is and what a democracy is. Um, Moscow is a beautiful day. Um, despite Cold War propaganda, uh, both Cold War One and Two, uh, which we're currently going through, um, Moscow is a very quiet city. It's a very warm city. Um, the, uh, the temperature here um, is similar to Washington, D.C. Uh, it's, it's March 15th here, approximately, and um, I'm wearing a jacket, and it's nice and warm. There's no snow on the ground, um, and it's just a beautiful place. I'm, I'm going to walk over to uh, Red Square now.